Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host here. Once again, it is Team Rai Rai. Have you seen the very first video of the day? If not, what are you waiting for, people? What are you waiting for? Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, my own Facebook page. That link will automatically take you to the page. The article will be on there. So hopefully um, someone out there wants to be part of the Rob I show. The link will automatically take you to the page. We discuss about anything you, you feel comfortable just discuss on my show. So all my social media accounts will be down below. Once again, I have TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, my own Facebook, Facebook page. And Instagram, so follow me and all this stuff. Now it is time once again to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't like that, maybe you want to give you one and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject. And of course, the article will be down below, or the article will be down below. This one will just be an article. Let's get into this now. I am not a John Cena fan at all. What really dampened me about his character back in what oh six oh seven that really messed me up. I mean, mess up his character because he was Super Cena and he beat everybody in his path. So that really pissed me off. But I guess that he has a reason to do that. Okay, now this is just a rumor. This may happen or may not happen. You know that for the first time in a long time, W is going back on the road. Finally. Jesus, crying loud. But it's not. There's only certain dates that are tuning. And later on, they're going to. More dates will be available. Be added, okay? Now, the rumor is that possibility John Cena. Is going to return to WWE on the July 16th episode of SmackDown. So, I guarantee you if that does happen, people are going to tune in. People are going to buy tickets or whatever. Now, does that mean he's going to have a face-to-face um, um, discussion with the WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns? Does that mean... We're going to see a matchup between these two. I don't want to see John Cena to break the record. He tied the Ric Flair record. The only person, my opinion is, should be Ric Flair's record. It is Charlotte Flair. It is Charlotte Flair is a full-time wrestler. She's there all the fucking time. Why bring in John Cena to the throne? The chief, the child chief. That made no sense. Get a person who's there full time. I know John Cena is Mr. Hollywood now these days. And if it happens, let Roman still become your champion. Then down the road, then he loses it. Because if you think about it, if, only if, John Cena beats Roman, that means the Roman Reigns will still want to want that belt back soon soon as possible. So I don't know when his money bank maybe in that time frame. This is just how I will book it. John Cena calls out the champion on a special edition of SmackDown because I say special edition because it's live. I'm not live, it's always been live for a while. But it's a special edition because with the fans in attendance. So John Cena calls out the champion um, Roman Reigns, and of course, that match that match was never scheduled. Of course, it was always scheduled. W always plays it stupid. So, it happens. The main event on SmackDown on free television, and Roman Reigns was not prepared to face um, John Cena because Roman Reigns is talking all this crap. He beat everybody in his path. He beat, you know, you know who he beat for the belt. And then ever since that, he beat everybody. Actually, I think Cesario should beat him. Sorry, every. I think Cesario should um, beat Roman like the last preview, but whatever. But anyway, he says, made a top of the show, I beat everybody. 
on the flipping roster. Everyone. And John Cena comes out with his music. You do not beat me. Yeah. So he comes out. He does his usual thing. Waste so much flipping time. And it's ridiculous. So John Cena says, you have never beat me. We had a match a couple of years ago. It was epic. Now it is time to have the flipping rematch. And it'll be epic. It'll be on free television. People will be very happy to see John Cena. And, um, and of course, Roman has no other choice to accept um, John Cena's challenge. And this time, no cousins will be involved. Because, lap like review, Roman Reigns successfully defend her title. His title, and no interference, nothing, no distractions. So, John Cena versus Roman Reigns for Roman Reigns Universal title to close out SmackDown. And it was a very good match. No disqualification, anything goes. And I guess Roman Reigns lost a step. And John Cena picked the victory up one, two, three, and became the 17 time champion okay and of course Roman Reigns is so pissed and then he wants to beat the crap out of John Cena of course that didn't happen because it closed out the show then because it's the week of Money Bank so this is how I do it the Money Bank pay-per-view Roman Reigns beat one of the competitors for the Money Bank briefcase now he's put himself in the Money Bank briefcase he he wins it become mr money bank of 2021 and we were wondering when is he gonna cash in when is he gonna cash in he cashed it in on that night on john cena he beat the crowd crap out of him and that's it you know and that's how he gets his title back that quickly but let's see what's gonna happen that might happen or it may not happen if john cena and W can work out a deal for John Cena return on SmackDown July 16th. The question is, why can Raw be the first one to have live audience? So why is it gonna be SmackDown? That's why I don't understand. I don't understand. So what are they gonna do for Raw if they're gonna get John Cena? I'm just wondering. That'd be a great thing, you know. Roman Reigns is back in the corner. He has no other choice to defend his um, title on free television. And he, of course, he accepts it. And he lost his step. That means he wasn't really paid. He's not really concentrating because he lost the belt to John Cena. John Cena became the 17 time champion. And Roman Reigns is so pissed off. He's throwing things. You know, he destroyed. Uh, the announce table not just once both of them and then and that's how you close out the show and then the top of the ramp John Cena's hoping holding the title up up for grabs I mean he's holding it and he's like yeah I did it and all that good stuff so that closed out the show and then on that Sunday in Money Bank like I said earlier Roman Reigns beat the crap out of one of the competitors to be um um, competing for Money Bank Preview, and he just demolished everybody in his path. Became the 2021 Mr. Money Bank um, briefcase, you know, the holder. So he holds that belt. Maybe he's gonna cash in that night, or whenever he he has been teasing it ever since he's cashed it in. I mean, when Mr. 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 Money Bank, he he been teasing him for a while. He wants revenge on John Cena, but John Cena has been or not, he has not been around lately because ever since the July 16th episode, he took off with Roman Reigns' belt, so he's trying to track him down. So let's see if that does happen. That'd be awesome if they do that way. I know I'm not saying it correctly. I'm just visualizing my way. But W and John Cena has to make an agreement for the July 16th. If not, then they just could be an average 
SmackDown episode, in my opinion. So, what's your thoughts? If John Cena does not be able to compete or show up on July 16th, I guess it'd be um, maybe Cesario continuing a few with Roman or whatever, you know. Have a good one, set up this long video. Let me know if you are spinning. Everyone out there, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Peace out.